So far, the evidence seems to point in the direction that if these objects are extraterrestrial, and I'm not saying they are, but if they are extraterrestrial, then it requires a level of intelligence that exceeds what we have, exceeds the technology of the planet Earth. What if the most groundbreaking image in human history didn't come from James Webb, or Hubble, or even Perseverance, but from a probe that launched 46 years ago? Voyager 1, now over 14 billion miles from Earth, has sent us a brand new photograph of the very edge of our solar system, and it's nothing like what anyone expected. Within the next 60 seconds, you'll see exactly what's hiding in that grainy, otherworldly frame, and why a global community of scientists, engineers, and even amateur astronomers are all scrambling to explain it. By the end of this minute, you'll know we've delivered on our title, Voyager 1's latest image really is mysterious, and the whole world is watching. Voyager 1's imaging science subsystem, comprising its two long-ago calibrated narrow-angle and wide-angle cameras, was never thought capable of high-resolution astrophotography at this distance. Yet in March 2025, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quietly released a fresh frame taken during Voyager 1's passage through the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind gives way to interstellar space. At first glance, the image looks like nothing more than random noise, flecks of green and purple pixels scattered against black. But researchers at JPL and ESA use newly developed machine learning denoising algorithms, trained on both Cassini's Saturn data and New Horizons Pluto flyby, to reconstruct the scene. Out popped an unmistakable large-scale filamentary structure stretching across the frame, like glowing tendrils of cosmic plasma woven through the sunlight-dimmed edge of our system. This is not the familiar pale blue dot. This is something new, a vast, luminous tapestry that appears to map invisible magnetic field lines, or perhaps even traces of interstellar dust streaming into our neighborhood. And crucially, it wasn't there, at least not in any recognizable form, when Voyager 1 last imaged this region in 2012. The plot thickens, the brightness variations correlate with periodic spikes in both plasma wave measurements and cosmic ray flux recorded by Voyager's onboard instruments. In other words, we aren't just seeing a static landscape. We're glimpsing dynamic processes at the boundary between two star systems. If this kind of mind-blowing space discovery excites you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Our channel dives into cosmic mysteries every week. To understand why this image matters, Let's rewind to Voyager 1's historic launch in 1977. Intended to explore the outer planets, Voyager has outlived every expectation. After Titan, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, each flyby rewriting textbooks, it continued toward the edge of the sun's influence. In August 2012, it officially crossed into interstellar space, becoming humanity's first emissary beyond the heliosphere. Since then, scientists have monitored its plasma detectors, cosmic ray sensors, and magnetometer. We knew the heliopause was a turbulent place, but visualizing it was thought impossible. Voyager 1's cameras had been in hibernation modes, used only sparingly to conserve power. Then last year, NASA engineers resurrected the imaging system with updated flight software, allowing it to capture one final, ultra-long exposure before the probe drifts beyond contact range. That's the origin of this image. Over a dozen exposures, each lasting up to four hours, stitched together through custom JPL-developed denoising pipelines, we have an actual photograph of the heliopause, and within it lies the puzzle that's keeping everyone up at night. So what exactly are we seeing? Three leading interpretations dominate the discussion. Interstellar magnetic filaments. Plasma physicist Dr. Leila Moreno at the University of Chicago suggests that these glowing streaks are filamentary plasma structures formed by the sun's magnetic field lines interweaving with the local interstellar magnetic field. As Voyager 1 punches through, charged particles spiral along these lines, lighting up the otherwise invisible boundary. Dust plasma interactions. A team at Cornell, led by Dr. Casper Vogel, proposes the features are caused by micron-sized interstellar dust grains that become electrically charged when they cross the heliopause. Colliding with solar wind particles generates faint luminescence, a cosmic glow only detectable in aggregated long-duration exposures. Dark matter signature. 
The most provocative idea comes from theoretical astrophysicist Dr. Amara Ose in Ghana, who floated the hypothesis that a particular dark matter candidate, axion-like particles, could convert into photons in the presence of strong magnetic fields. The heliopause, with its unique environment, might be the first natural laboratory for that process. If so, Voyager 1's image could contain indirect evidence of dark matter interacting with normal matter. All three theories are speculative at this stage, but each stands on real physics and Voyager's in situ data. The fact that there are legitimate, peer-reviewed articles already circulating in Nature Astronomy in physical review letters shows how seriously the community is taking this. But what comes next changes everything. Digging deeper into the pixel data, JPL analysts discovered a repeating hexagonal pattern embedded within the plasma filaments, almost like a honeycomb lattice. It's subtle, but statistically significant. Hexagons are not unheard of in planetary atmospheres. Saturn's North Pole famously sports a hexagonal jet stream. But at the heliopause, that's unprecedented. Even more puzzling, the orientation of the hexagonal cells aligns with Voyager's spin axis rather than any known magnetic field geometry, implying that either the pattern is an artifact of the probe's rotation or, more intriguingly, a real spatial structure bracketed by alternating magnetic domains. Could we be observing magnetic reconnection islands forming in clusters? Or is this a hint that the Voyager cameras are picking up some previously unknown plasma instability? Conventional models of the heliopause don't predict stable hexagonal cells on these scales. This anomaly is what keeps theorists up late at night. Stop for a second and imagine it. A cosmic honeycomb stretching billions of miles across the frontier of the sun's realm. If you've stuck with us this far, you're truly into the deep stuff. Hit that like button and let us know in the comments. What do you think this hexagonal mystery means? Is it a natural phenomenon? or something we've never even dreamed of? Now take a breath. We've covered the basics. Plasma filaments, dust glow, dark matter, hexagonal anomalies. Up next, we'll layer on even wilder possibilities. So let me know your take before we dive into the next chapter. With conventional explanations straining to account for the hexagons, a few truly out there ideas have surfaced. Artificial structures, a fringe, but vociferous, Camp wonders if these patterns could be signs of extraterrestrial engineering, huge megastructures or magnetic shepherding devices built by an interstellar civilization to harvest plasma energy. While there's zero direct evidence for this, the persistence of the pattern across multiple exposures has fueled online debates on forums from r space to SCI. Quantum vacuum effects. A small group of quantum field theorists proposed that at the heliopause, Vacuum fluctuations become macroscopically visible due to the extreme boundary conditions, superposed solar and interstellar fields. In this view, the hexagons are nodal patterns of quantum vacuum resonance, a phenomenon never before observed in nature. Simulation hypothesis angle. Finally, philosopher physicist Dr. Nguyen Tran muses whether we might be inside a simulation, and the hexagonal artifact is a graphical artifact a rendering glitch at the far edge of the simulated space. Once again, there's no empirical support for this idea, but it highlights how mind-bending the data are. Whether any of these speculative theories hold water remains to be seen, but they underscore one thing. Voyager 1's new image isn't just another snapshot of space. It's a launchpad for debate across astrophysics, engineering, philosophy, and even science fiction. That's where things get strange. But here's the final twist. Just days after NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory shared the denoised image data from Voyager 1's latest transmission, another team quietly entered the scene, ESA's New Horizons imaging specialists. While most people associate New Horizons with the Pluto flyby, few realize that ESA's extended mission team includes some of the world's top experts in low-light, long-exposure data analysis, especially in extreme cold where photon noise becomes nearly indistinguishable from signal. They have been quietly refining imaging techniques for years, working in conditions that mirror what Voyager now faces beyond the heliopause. When they ran Voyager 1's raw image data through their proprietary quantum-assisted image enhancement pipeline, something unexpected emerged, a second filament. 
This one was far fainter, broader, and tilted exactly 60 degrees relative to the first. At first glance, it seemed like an artifact, perhaps some kind of ghosting, lens flare, or interference. But multiple passes confirmed it. This structure wasn't noise. It was real. The shock deepened when the ESA team overlaid both filaments onto a spherical model of Voyager 1's field of view and connected them. What emerged was not random. The pattern, when extrapolated, formed 12 distinct radial lines, like the spokes of a wheel. One set was narrow and luminous, the other broad and ghostly, layered like twin harmonics. The whole thing spanned nearly 80 degrees of arc, rotating across the image field like the face of a cosmic clock. Coincidence? Perhaps. But the symmetry was too precise, the angular displacement too regular. In interviews, ESA researchers speculated that this may be evidence of a layered magnetohydrodynamic resonance at the heliopause, something akin to the ringing of a bell, only writ large across the interstellar frontier. The solar wind, as it decelerates and presses against the interstellar medium, may not simply flatten or scatter. It may oscillate, driven by plasma instabilities or even unknown interactions with exotic particles beyond the standard model. One ESA physicist put it bluntly, it's as if the edge of our solar system has its own heartbeat, and we're finally hearing it. More remarkably, nothing in existing heliospheric models predicted this. Not the Parker spiral, not the outer Helios Heath simulations, not even the Voyager trajectory projections that had accounted for particle pressure and galactic cosmic rays. This wheel and spoke pattern defies expectations, suggesting that the termination shock, helio sheath, and interstellar magnetic field may be entangled in a higher order structure, one we're only now becoming sensitive enough to perceive. If confirmed, this could force a major rewrite of how we model our star's boundary with the galaxy. But on a more profound level, it forces us to confront a more poetic possibility that our solar system doesn't just fade into the void, it echoes, pulses, and perhaps speaks. And Voyager, still drifting in the darkness, may have just recorded its first true message. From the first hints uncovered by quantum-enhanced image denoising that revealed delicate luminous plasma filaments threading through the darkness to the strange hexagonal formations that seem to defy our understanding of magnetohydrodynamics, all the way to the breathtaking spokes of a cosmic wheel independently confirmed by ESA's image analysis team, Voyager 1's latest transmission has accomplished something we thought was no longer possible. It has surprised us, not with a new planet or a moon or a comet, but with something far more profound, a glimpse into a hidden architecture of the universe, sketched faintly in particles and light, at the very edge of where our solar system ends and interstellar space begins. This isn't just about an old spacecraft sending back cool data, it's about the endurance of vision. Voyager 1 launched in 1977, over 46 years ago, using technology that, by modern standards, is ancient. It has roughly 68 kilobytes of memory. It communicates using a 23-watt transmitter, less power than your average refrigerator light bulb. And yet, with the help of decades of upgrades, both on the ground and through clever reprogramming in deep space, it continues to expand the frontier of what humanity can observe. For planetary science, Voyager's image is a rallying cry. Missions don't lose value with age, they gain it. The passage of time, when paired with creativity and the ever-advancing power of data processing, opens new doors. What was once noise dismissed as unreadable signal corruption can now be mined for hidden information. The heliopause, a region long thought to be invisible and unreachable in any visual sense, has now become a canvas, etched with glowing tendrils, strange symmetries, and magnetic echoes from a turbulent cosmic shore. We are not merely flying blind into interstellar space, we are beginning to see it. For plasma physics and astrophysics, Voyager's image marks an unprecedented opportunity Direct observational evidence of large-scale interactions between solar and interstellar magnetic fields. These aren't just theoretical models or indirect measurements. We now have what appears to be photographic evidence, fleeting and faint, yes, but real, of the transition zone between our solar neighborhood and the galaxy beyond. 
This is where particles from our sun meet the particles from other stars, where pressure waves ripple across magnetic divides, and where exotic phenomena, possibly even linked to dark matter or axion-like particles, may become visible in rare and extreme environments. And for the broader public, this discovery taps into something deeply human. That sense of wonder we felt as children looking up at the stars, that moment when the pale blue dot made us feel small but connected, Voyager has returned to us, not as a relic, but as a messenger. In an era overwhelmed by fast news, fleeting trends, and divisive headlines, Voyager's new image gives us something rare, perspective. A reminder that despite our chaos, the universe continues. It continues to evolve, to breathe, to surprise us, and we're still out there, listening. But perhaps most profoundly, this discovery challenges the very way we think about exploration. For centuries, exploration has been a forward motion, sending ships across oceans, rockets through atmospheres, and robots across Martian plains. But Voyager reminds us that even a probe drifting silently beyond our skies, long past its intended mission lifetime, can still reveal truths no one saw coming. Exploration doesn't require speed, it requires patience. It requires curiosity. It requires the humility to look again at old data with new tools and the wisdom to realize that the universe rarely shows all its secrets the first time around. We thought we had cataloged our solar system. We mapped the planets, counted the moons, charted the orbits of comets and the structure of the Kuiper Belt. But Voyager has pulled back the curtain on the final act of our solar drama, the interface with the galaxy. And it is far richer, far more complex, and far stranger than we imagined. And it raises new questions. If these structures, filaments, hexagons, spokes, exist here at the boundary of our star system, do they exist around other stars as well? Is this a universal phenomenon, a kind of cosmic punctuation mark where solar winds meet interstellar currents? Or is it unique, a signature of our sun's peculiar personality? And what if this image is just the first page of a new chapter? If we point our most powerful instruments, James Webb, the Vera Rubin Observatory, or future interstellar probes, at the same regions Voyager traversed, will we see these structures more clearly? Could they be mapped, studied, understood, and even predicted? More provocatively, if patterns are embedded at this scale, could they contain meaning? Not in the science fiction sense of encoded messages, but in the scientific sense of informational structure, rhythms, symmetries, resonances that reveal underlying laws of physics we have yet to comprehend. The universe, after all, is not just matter and energy, it is also information. And Voyager 1, from 14.8 billion miles away, may have just handed us a new lexicon to begin decoding that information. We are, for the first time, glimpsing the texture of the boundary between one star system and the rest of the galaxy. And what we see is not emptiness, but structure. Not silence, but pattern. Not finality, but invitation. An invitation to look again, to listen better, to go farther. Voyager 1 was built by human hands, guided by human minds, and launched by human hope. It carries with it a golden record, our music, our math, our languages, our essence, just in case someone, somewhere, intercepts it. But now, nearly five decades later, it's sending us a record of its own. A snapshot, not of us, but of where we end and the galaxy begins. And if we listen closely, we might hear what it's been trying to tell us all along. That exploration is never over. The universe still has secrets. And that sometimes the faintest signals from the farthest places carry the loudest messages of all. Voyager 1, our most distant traveler, has just whispered one of those messages back to Earth. Now, it's up to us to listen. If this voyage to the edge of the solar system changed how you see the cosmos, subscribe and turn on notifications, because you won't want to miss what comes next. Next week, we'll explore how NASA's Parker Solar Probe is discovering many solar flares on the sun's surface millions of miles closer and what that means for solar storms here on Earth. Hit that bell now. More mysteries await.